Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So we are continuing on with our casting prediction videos. If you missed the first one, the link is down below in the comment section or in the description of this video, or you can just search it on the channel. It's under the title, Who Will Play the New Harry Potter Part 1? Anyway, this is the second video. The search is still on for the official cast for the new TV series. I've got five more characters to cast for today's video. Some really good ones if you ask me. Some people I think fit to the roles pretty well so be sure to let me know in the comment section if you agree. Guys I am so excited for this series. I know it's going to be a long wait so hopefully I can do my best to tide you all over with these prediction videos and theoretical possibilities for what we may see. But anyway let's start the first casting with a bang, a major character. Let's do Albus Dumbledore. Now Albus was recast in the movies after Sir Richard Harris who played the headmaster for the first two movies, sadly passed away before the third movie began production. Michael Gambon took over the role and despite some criticism from fans over his swift movements and quickness on screen, in comparison to Richard Harris' more slowly paced Dumbledore, which was in line with the book's version, I thought Michael did very well. I enjoyed him in the role but he won't be returning for the TV series and a new Dumbledore is needed, so my choice would have to be the legendary the one and only Charles Dance. This man is such a talented actor on so many levels and out of so many fantastic projects he was involved in, he's most recently known as Tywin Lannister from the TV adaption of Game of Thrones, a part he played brilliantly. I think Charles Dance is a little in between both Richard and Michael. He can slow his pace or increase his overall speed on screen when the moment calls for it. He delivers his lines perfectly and I think he is of the right experience and age to take on the role. However, I have seen so many calls for Ian McKellen to take the part and as much as I love him guys, he's Gandalf. He always will be, he's Lord of the Rings and let's just leave that one there. But anyway guys, my call for the role of Albus Dumbledore would be Charles Sands. Absolutely no question about it. So guys, let's do another big name. If Albus Dumbledore wasn't big enough, Let's take a look at his counterpart. Let's take a look at his enemy. Let's look at Lord Voldemort. Now, this is going to be a massive role to fill and we won't actually see a full-bodied Voldemort until the Goblet of Fire, but he does make an appearance on the back of Quirrell's head in the Philosopher's Stone, so the casting for the Dark Lord may not even be released with the rest of the official casting for the first series. It could just be a voice actor, maybe. Now, we know Ray Fiennes has voiced his desire to return as the Dark Lord, so that possible casting is there and although he would be my first choice i feel i do have to provide an alternative if they don't decide to go with rafe for the role so my choice for the role of lord voldemort would have to be none other than benedict cumberbatch i think benedict is a fantastic actor with huge experience in all types of roles he has the right look he even has the tom riddle hairstyle he has the acting demeanor cumberbatch is known for being able to diversify his acting skill I think he'd be a fantastic choice for Voldemort, especially for flashback scenes when Tom Riddle returns to Hogwarts to apply for a job at the school. I loved him in particular as Khan in Star Trek. His Cole persona was just brilliant. So if it isn't Rafe Fiennes returning as the Dark Lord, then I will be super happy if it was indeed Benedict Cumberbatch. Next up, let's talk about the half-giant that everyone loves, Rubius Hagrid. I don't think there's many that didn't love Robbie Coltrane's warm and loving portrayal of the character. He has just got that face that makes him such a likeable individual. But sadly, Robbie's time has come and gone as the actor passed away not too long after the release of the Return to Hogwarts special that aired in December 2022. So the question is, who could fill the shoes of this character? It was a really difficult choice if I'm honest guys, not because of the lack of good actors, but someone who could be really suitable to the role and I just have to admit guys I struggled with this one but when it came down to it only one name stood out to me only one that seemed to have the persona and the overall look to play Hagrid and that is actor Nick Frost. I think he's the most suited to the role he has the likeable aura around him he has the ability to play the unintentional I don't mean to be funny but I am kind of character like Robbie did with Hagrid I'd actually bet on Nick being cast in the role if I'm honest I'd put my house on it. I think he'd do a great job. He's also a British actor and we know JK Rowling is pretty dead set on having an all British cast once again. 
so Nick Frost for Hagrid is my casting choice. Okay guys, so let's do a character that may not be the first to come to mind when thinking of a new actress for the part, but let's talk about Narcissa Malfoy. Now she may make an appearance in the Philosopher's Stone first season while Draco is shopping for his robes. That's if the scene is even included, which I'm sure it will be if they really want to expand on what was left out of the movies. Narcissa was originally played by the late Helen McCrory, who was sadly no longer with us. Definitely taken too soon, may she rest easy. She was actually in line to play Bellatrix originally until she fell pregnant and the role went to Helena Bonham Carter. But anyway, when it comes to Narcissa, only one name came to me guys, even without having a little look around for suitors, none other than Olivia Colman. I think Olivia not only has that Narcissa look about her, but the ability to portray that coldness and aristocratic persona that's so heavily associated with the character. Olivia was absolutely excellent in The Crown, playing the Queen, how she held her emotions to her chest, not giving anything away, just brilliant. So I think she'd be a great fit for the part. Even when I look at photos of her, I can just get that Helen McCrory vibe, as if they have a similar acting style. So guys, with that being said, my choice for Narcissa Malfoy would definitely be Olivia Colman. A bit like Nick Frost, I just can't imagine anyone else for the role, but we may not see her until later seasons. That's if she's even cast for the part. Okay guys, it is time for our final casting of today's video, and it is someone who'll appear in the first season. We know that for sure because they're in the first book. Professor Phileas Flitwick is the charms professor that teaches the first years the beginner charms lessons, and I think we can all agree that Warwick Davis did a super awesome job playing the role. He really made it his own, and he may actually make himself available for the role again if he wanted to, but judging from a recent interview about the series being rebooted, he suggested leaving it alone, leaving it be. So that means the role is open for a new actor, and I think it would have always been anyway. There's no other choice for me to play this role other than the great Peter Dinklage. Peter is just an excellent actor in more ways than one, and has gone on to achieve massive critical acclaim for the roles he's played over the years, most notably Tyrion Lannister from Game of Thrones, his witty humour was just brilliant. I honestly feel he'd do the role of Flitwick great justice. He could even do a double role take, like Warwick did, by taking on Griphook too. Who knows what could happen, it all remains to be seen. But anyway guys, that is my second line of five actors who could be cast in the roles mentioned. I'll keep going with these videos until I complete the whole cast. We have a long way to go. Make sure to comment down below who you'd like me to cast next, and we will go from there. Thanks for watching everyone, make sure to look out for the next video because it just might be a little bit better than this one. See you soon.